In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Form and a Google Spreadsheet into your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and create a new post. If you look at the top, hover over New and click on Post. Okay, we're going to title this. You can title it anything you want. I'm just going to call it Event. And if you scroll down, you can look at the content area. It will most likely come up in the visual editor side. We want to be in the text editor side. Now this is an area you won't often venture into because it's where you will paste your coding into. But for this tutorial, we have to be in the text editor or it will not come over and populate correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up to Google Forms. So I'm going to go into a form. Obviously, you will already have created your form. I'm just going to go ahead and pull one up that I had opened earlier. And you can put anything you want. There's obviously a lot of options. I'm not going to go through how to create a Google Form. But once you have the form and you're happy with it, look at the top right hand corner and click on send. Now it will give you an option to send via email. You can get a link or you can embed HTML. We are going to embed some HTML. Now if you look here, it gives you a width and a height. This form is actually quite a bit longer, so I'm going to give it the length of 1700. You may have to play with this a few times before it looks correct on your site. Let's go ahead and copy this over. Okay. Now let's go ahead and we are going to paste that code directly into here. Let's go ahead and preview this. Okay, so if you scroll down, everything looks great. This form looks really good. I think the length is great, the width looks good. Now let's say we had left the dimensions the way it had had it. It was 760 by 500. And let's preview what it would have looked like if we didn't change those dimensions. Okay, let's scroll down. And if you notice, there is now a scroll bar on my form. That's because the dimensions given does not show the document completely, so they have to scroll down. That's why if we change it to the dimensions of the 1700 and we preview it, You should be able to see now that scroll bar is now gone from the side of the document because the length is correct. So like I said, you may have to play with this a few times. Now let's make a change. Let's say you want to embed maybe something like a mill planner of some sort. That's the most common one I'm asked about. So I am currently in something. I just threw something together just so I can show you for this demonstration. Once you have created the meal plan or whatever kind of spreadsheet you want to embed, go ahead and click on File. And if you scroll down to Publish to Web, it will give you the option to have a link or embed. Again, we want to embed, so go ahead and copy this. Let's go back over to our post. I'm just going to take this one out just to show you. And you're going to paste. Now, if you view it this way, I'll go ahead and preview. I'll show you what happens. Now, it did embed it, but look, we have scroll bar right here. And we have a scroll bar right here. I personally don't like the looks of this. I don't think it looks very pretty on a website. So let's go ahead and go back to your post. Now if you look here, even if you're not familiar with code, you will recognize that there's no dimensions listed. We are going to have to add a little bit of code to this, and I will make sure I post this in the post. 
I am going to take this and replace it. We're going to copy this. And we are going to take this out right here, the end. And we're going to paste it right there. Let's give it a little space. And right now I have it set at 1,000 by 800. You may have to play with this a little. So let's preview this now. Okay, you scroll down, you can see there's still a little bit of scrolling that has to be done. That has to scroll, and this still has to scroll, but it did enlarge it. So let's go ahead and enter another dimension. Let's try a thousand, and let's preview this. And I changed the length of my spreadsheet. Now you can see that the scroll bar is gone. I do have a scroll bar, and I believe my dimensions are correct. It's the sidebar that is scrunching this over. So we're going to go back to our post. Depending upon which theme you have, and most themes will have some kind of option, the template is dependent upon your theme. Now, if you go ahead and select from this one, I am in Ocean WP on this. This is my theme, and there's no default template. That's because the layout is managed from a section down in the lower area. So if I want to go ahead and look, I can look at my content layout, and it gives me the option to go full width. So if I go ahead and go full width, and I preview it, you will see that there is no longer a scroll bar at all. It's satisfied that width and everything looks perfectly fine. You can actually probably make it a little bit smaller. Now let's say, let's try it in another theme. I have one currently up. Let's go ahead, this is in the Fit Club theme. We're going to go into the post, so let's edit it. And let's try adding this. Now you see it came up in the visual editor. You want to make sure you're in that text editor. And don't get confused by where you're at. I'm just going to try adding it to the bottom. So I'm just going to copy and paste that same code into this site just to see how it appears. Now if you look here, this one has their layout listed this way, select layout, and it gives me the option of no sidebar full width. So that's what I would go ahead and choose. Like I said, it's dependent upon your theme, how they name it, but most of them do give you the option to have full width for your actual pages and posts. So let's go ahead and preview this one. And lo and behold, there, there it is. It looks like here, it actually could be a little bit longer. So let's give it a dimension. Let's give it a width of maybe 1100 and preview it. And there you go. It looks great. So like I said, if you are sharing a meal plan, I understand the desire to have your sidebar always showing, but sometimes I think it's best on your meal plans just to eliminate the sidebar so it will come across correctly when you embed that form. There are obviously quite a few plugins out there for it, but honestly, I have not found one that I love the looks of the way it embeds the form. I like to just use it directly from Google and just embed that coding into my site.